Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome to some Assetto Corsa. It's been a very long while since I've played Assetto Corsa. I've been playing it sort of in the background, trying to get back in, trying to get back into how the game works and how the physics work in. And the force feedback, I have to say, it feels like absolutely insane. Like when you come from like Forza Horizon, I know it's not a comparison. Forza Horizon is like an arcade game. But you come from that into this, it's a different world, like literally. Like the force feedback's just spot on. It's amazing. Um, so someone around here, sitting on the limiter, and that is, an... that guy decided to crash into me. Uh, but yeah, we're running. There's only one car, one car left in, um... uh, one more, what am I trying to say? One car left that I'm trying to choose. This is so loud. Someone's revving their engine like crazy, man. Um, but yeah, there was only one car left I could choose. It was the only one not being used. And I think it's the JX100. Pretty sure. Uh, go to the pit. Uh, so yeah, we're going to start running this server. Uh, I'm not going to try and tandem straight away. And just see what happens, really. See how we go. Um, see, see if we can get some doors while we're going along here. Trying to find myself. There we go. J Z X. I think it's 100. Uh, that's fine. But this car's looking extra nice. It's it's a proper nice car. Can't like look at look from that view. Oh my diddy days. All right. Anyway, let's stop uh stop baffing about and let's get with it. Take the mouse off the screen. Okay. So. There is a train here. I'm going to try and get up to this train, but I don't want to just jump in there straight away. I haven't even warmed up or anything. I'm just going to try and follow them along for now. Oh god. Is there another guy? Where's he gone? Oh, he must have gone back to pits or something. Bit of understeer, we're trying to catch up. Trying to catch up. Oh, I forgot. Wait, whenever I try and go on someone's door, they always spin up. And again, I've got to go with him. <laughs> I was too deep to like not go with him then. Uh, so yeah, not the best of starts to this, but I feel like I'm drifting quite well. That's for sure. Uh, but yeah, I've got this force feedback on lock right now. Uh, changed up the settings quite a bit to try and get the feeling of when I had the Thrustmaster. Uh, uh, that's the feeling I wanted back. Like that, that wheel was crazy. Let's try and straighten this sphere and catch up with these guys. I said I'm not going to try and get on doors straight away, but look at me, I'm really chasing the doors straight away. Oh no, too much power. I'm going to get out of the way. Oh no, there's no one there. That sound is really loud then. Oh no, I've spun out. This guy's got on my door and I've spun out straight away. That makes sense. Sorry, bro. It was that first little transition that threw me off there. Oh, but yeah, this this lobby is so loud right now. Can't even hear myself think. I'm trying to slow down a bit for this guy. Coming. 
Is he coming? I don't think he's coming. I think he's gone. Uh, but yeah, I've only slapped like a quick tune on this. Like the last time I was in the lo lobby, I must have been the same car. I just slapped like this random tune on it. Oh my god, that was completely my bad there. It's the one thing with not having like a separate handbrake, I've got to use the wheel handbrake. Sometimes when the wheel is spinning and trying to find it. Absolute mare. Oh my god. Kind of threw me off there. Right, wide so this guy can get in close. The red arrow is there, so he must be quite close. But yeah, proper proper enjoying this game at the moment. Definitely miss the set of quarter. This game feels so nice, man. Oh god, got a bit deep into that. Going deep into every corner right now. This guy following me is doing a good job to follow this line, whatever I'm on. Oh no. Uh, sorry bro. I don't know how this guy is following me right now. I feel sorry for him. He's still alive. Bit of doors. He's still alive. Don't panic, Kevin. Do not panic. This guy is all over me like a rash. I used to proper like lead in when I used to play a set of, so I just need to get back into that groove. I'm not the best at following, but I feel like I can get a line down when I'm leading. Uh, Trying to get back into those vibes again. I feel like I'm going pretty smooth at the moment. Fairly smooth anyway. Going a bit deep into that corner. What a clown. Oh, I've gone over the inside of that guy. This guy's still all over me. This guy's such a good driver. Need to find out his name. Yeah, I'm doing quite good. I'm quite proud of myself right now. Like. The pressure of someone following you sometimes gets kind of kind of the most of you. Uh, I'm doing a bit of some weird lines like there. I don't normally go that wide, but I suppose it helps the guy time like trying to get in my door. I suppose. Oh, see, look, I'm trying to. Oh no! I was trying to press the handbrake and I pressed the other shifter. That's the only problem with not having like a designated like handbrake. This BMW now again. <laughs> Every single lap he spins out there. Okay, let's get back into the groove. Yeah, I don't need to change out of gear too, which is a nice thing. Yeah, I feel like I've nailed this tune down. I've nailed my force feedback down, that's for sure. Oh god, going deep, going deep. Ah! Get out of that. So yeah, that was a very good follow from that guy. Oh my god. Hey, man. Was he, was he the chaser? I think he was the other chaser. 
I couldn't really tell from my mirror, but I'm assuming so. Maybe Paul Borsan. Oh yeah, that guy was crazy, man. He was all over me like a ref. Uh, but let's try and get back out there. We was in a bit of a flow there. I went a bit deep in a few corners. Like, I'm still quite sloppy. So. No one's coming. Oh, that was loud. Felt like someone was coming then. I always feel really sloppy coming out of the pit because obviously fire attempts and that. I don't know if that makes a difference, but I think it just makes a difference to me mentally. <laughs> I'm mentally scarred from leaving the pit. Sort of like that um, yellow BMW, is it? <laughs> Let's see if we can try and get on this guy's door. Oh, he's gone back to the pit. But yeah, I'm not the best at following. Like, that guy who followed me, like, I want to be that good. Like, I was doing some weird lines, but he was all over me. But... I think the best way to learn following is to not... to not get in close, if that makes sense. Like, just sit back. Probably a good, like, two meters, three meters. Just a nice distance where you can transition well together. And just sort of learn when to go for it all, when not to. Just kind of sit back and just let it happen. Yeah, I think this might be the guy up here in the black, uh, black car in front. Might try and catch up, see if they grip racing coming through. Grip racing on the channel. I think it's actually quicker if you do it. Yeah, I haven't got names up, so unfortunately I don't know who that guy was. But... Oh, that guy was a bit laggy there. Do I trust getting on the on his door? Yeah. I saw a car. I backed off because I saw that car was like dead in the barrier. I feel like this is the distance I need to sit back to sort of learn chasing someone. failed into the into the pits. Oh there's someone else here. Oh it's the same guy. <laughs> he literally went back to the pits. I'm out. Oh he's a little bit laggy. Probably more reason to stay back a little bit. Oh see look handbrake man. The other the other shifter is assigned to be like the look behind button for me. So whenever I look behind, you know I've pressed the wrong shifter. But yeah, I might look at getting a handbrake at some point. That would be nice. Look, I pressed the wrong one there. This guy is really good. He just I think he just tries a bit too much like angle. I, I know I shouldn't critique him. I'm not the best. I think he's just trying to throw luck. Look at this crazy angle. And when it does work, it works. It kind of messes up, messes him up like the next corner is Messes up the flow. They hit the barrier there. Oh, didn't. Hard to get on his door right now. Throwing it in with some massive angle that like, I can't even match it. I was critiquing his angle and now I can't even... Oh shit, man! We alive! We alive! I wanted to press handbrake, then I look behind.
the one thing I like running this view, I only run this view because I just really like this view. But the one thing with running it is when you're alongside people, you really can't tell. Yeah, this might be the guy who was following me like an absolute god. He is throwing it in so well. Oh, he's got some nice lines about him. Yeah, I got in too deep there. That's where, when I'm chasing, I get too excited and I proper get in on the door. And when I do that, it messes me up because the transition comes, and I'm far too deep. I need to just start backing off here. Let the transition happen. This guy is so good. Alright, when there's someone this good, it's probably good practice for me to try and get on his door, like... Because he's got the line, like, down to a T. But that's so bad. Damn it, man! Yeah, as you guys can tell, I am quite sloppy. Uh, sloppy with Deppy. If you have had that pizza problem, Pizza Express, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah. I just noticed the webcam has been bot the whole time. It, it needed to be over here. But hopefully that was okay. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot, man. I'm actually a full on idiot. We got this guy going down the pits. Okay, we try the in. I just. I don't know why. This view for me is the one that I need to. That makes sense, like it's the one that works for me. So I just need to stick with it. I might look at trying moving the camera back a bit maybe. I know you can edit the camera position here. Okay. I mean, I got the wrong line to throw it in there. I definitely need to clutch kick, clutch kick a lot more as well. Uh, I've lost me, I lost me mojo there. Let's just re reset. <laughs> Let's go again. I moved the webcam and that's it. I mean, it's over now. Stream is over. See, like that clutch kick. Sent me into a drift straight away. Because I was so used to the Thrustmaster only having two wheels that uh, I kind of lost all mobility in my left foot. <laughs> I know I drive a car in real life and it's free pedal or whatever, but uh, when I just get on this game, you just automatically like think the way I used to. Like it was just habit, I suppose. Try and catch up with you guys. Is that 350? Sounds nice. This is a better follow for me. If I if I just sit back a bit. Oh shit. Let's put you back online, my friend. Yeah, I'm proper enjoying this game right now. Proper enjoying it. Hopefully, oh, I'm so annoyed I didn't move the webcam, man. Hopefully the webcam's okay. Fine. 
how it is. I think you could see the wheel. I do apologise, it's my own fault. Uh, as soon as I look back at the screen, I'm like, oh, damn it, man. What is this, a coral? That's why everyone I come up next, to, like, behind, just waves, goes back to the pit. So I scared them, am I that bad? Okay, there's a guy parked there. Hey, it's not the place you want to park. This guy is quick, man. A bit too quick, he just threw it into the barrier. Oh, God! Too much accelerator, my man. Yeah, this guy is so quick. Maybe he's got some massive tyres. Uh, but yeah, other than that, guys, I think we're going to call it a day there. I'll go back to the pit. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We're back on the set of course. Uh, give this a thumbs up. Uh, I apologise for the camera for like, most of the video. I'm, I'm going to sort that out. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.